namo narayanaya. Divine greetings from me, Shardika Pillay, and the Sadna team. On the show today, we meet one of South Africa's prolific playwrights and author, Ronnie Govinda, and we attend a kacheri in Phoenix. We go colorful and crunchy on conscious cooking, and MK Angajan satiates our soul with chapter 13 in our Bhagavad Gita series. Ronnie Govinda is a celebrated name in the South African art circle. Among his many accolades, he was awarded the Order of Ikamanga, the nation's highest award in arts. He has made a mammoth contribution to literature and arts in the country. He is also recognized for promoting democracy and justice in South Africa through the genre of theatre. Ronnie's strong Hindu roots have played a significant role in shaping his ideologies on spirituality, which is also reflected in his works. Sadna was privileged to meet with the astute writer recently during a script writing masterclass in Chatsworth. Ketamana in Durban is a township famous for its political and cultural heritage. The area was developed by Indian market gardeners and was vibrant with Hindu traditions and customs. Growing up in Ketamana, Ronnie Gavanda developed strong feelings about this community, which is reflected in most of his plays and his collection of stories. I've been informed also about some of the things that you know, my youthful mind was exposed to. One of which was what my mother had said, you know, uh, that you can bluff everybody else, but you can't bluff yourself. And I think it enabled me, to some extent, to always try to see the bigger picture. Hey! Salachi's husband, Muttu, works in the factory. You think he's better than me because I work in the garden, huh? I never see he's better than you, but he buys everything and he gives away. And, and also... The remarkable word, Kadavul. Now, Kadavul, Kadavul is thousands of years old and is generally taken to mean God. But the actual meaning of the word is that which is beyond human conception. Now that is very profound, very deep. And this is something that I think informed um, my writing, whether it is plays or short stories or novels. His formative years played a strong influence in his life, which became directed towards community activism. During apartheid, he was one of the pioneers of the cultural boycott and subsequently formed the Shah Theatre Academy to foster indigenous theatre. In keeping with the cultural boycott, Ronnie refused invitations to stage The Lani's Pleasure, one of South Africa's longest running plays at certain venues in South Africa and in London. That, uh, I was the president and then there was Dr. Mutal Naidu was the organiser. The secretary was Ismail Patel and the vice president was Guru Pillay. And uh, we decided to train our own actors and directors. I followed this up with three plays, Swami, The Lanish Pleasure, Offside and Inside. The Department of Arts and Culture is affording uh, younger people this opportunity to participate in these classes and what they call a master class, where people whom they regard as, you know, uh, uh, legends are asked to impart of their experience and you know um, and also their skills to younger people who want to learn in my case uh, in the theater meaning this life is illusory the only certainty is that you're going to die you begin to ask, what is life all about? Is it as absurd as that, that you're born, you live, and you die like an insect? I mean, and that's the end of the story. Or is there something more? And this is the, the, the theme of the play uh, Swami, which I wrote. It's ba actually based on the life of a real life Swami, Swami Nishalananda, who founded the um, Ramakrishna Center, which today is flourishing. Uh, you know, uh, those are the kinds of things that, um, I mean, that informed my writing and all the different plays. I wrote a play on uh, Dingan when I was in training college. 
Um, for me, it was important that we teach history, you know, um, without I mean, just getting rid of all the kind of manipulation that has crept in. And Dingan was portrayed as a savage and a brutal man, you know. He wasn't portrayed as a king who had to defend his people against people who had superior arms and were coming to take his land. And I, this play more or less did that. And I almost lost my position at training college and I almost got fired from teaching as a result. Uh, but I mean, the thing is, uh, you know, this is what we need, what I think is at the heart of religion, of spirituality. It's to manifest these profound teachings in a way in which it gets to the root, the heart of problems. Then now I'm going to cook then. Why you use so much oil, you? I never use lot oil. When you saw me using lot oil, one thing, Salachi's husband... There's this wonderful thing about the concept of the Atman, uh, the individual soul, who, whose destiny is to eventually merge with the Paramatman or the truth. People give that truth many different names and forms. You know, as the great sages have, have mentioned, uh, we must try to shift the focus more to those kind of perceptions. Then we'll be doing justice to the very religions that all of us belong to, different religions that we belong to.